Welcome to Bognor Regis Fire Station. This is one of 25 stations within West Sussex and is also home to the youth team. The youth team run a number of initiatives for young people, one of which is Firebreak. Here's Richard Poole to tell you a bit more about it. Firebreak is a course for students of years 8 and 9 where they can come to us for a week at a fire station where they'll learn about team building activities, scenarios of drills with using fire service equipment, actually out onto the fire drill yard with fire appliances. They'll work together as a team with 12 students in total. With us on that week also they will get to learn about first aid, heart start, which I'll tell you a little bit more about later. Two to three weeks before the course, the lead instructor, along with the youth worker, will come and visit them at their school to have a chat about the course and ask a few questions. It gives us the opportunity to get to know them a bit before the course starts and gives them the chance to ask any questions about anything they may have worries about. The week before you attend fire break, you will come along to the fire station for an induction morning. This session will last about an hour and will give you the chance to meet the rest of your team and find out a bit more about the course. We will provide them with uniform so that they will be ready for their first day. We will also measure them for their fire kit which is similar to that of a real firefighter and will stop them from getting too wet. The students will be given their uniform, their undress uniform we call it, for their induction day so they can turn up on day one of the course in their uniform and that will consist of a blue shirt, a red shirt and their trousers and boots. On day one they will also get given their full firefighting kit which will become their responsibility for the week where they take pride and passion in what they're doing with their kit enforcing a little bit of self-discipline for them. Each morning their team will sit down for breakfast and chat about the day ahead. We also provide lunch for them, so there's no need to bring anything with them. Cut! As we are a disciplined service, we as firefighters have to follow a code of conduct, and we ask all students to respect and follow the code whilst they are with us. This will make sure the course is safe and enjoyable for everyone. To help everyone stick to this code of conduct, we operate a red and yellow card system. A yellow card is a warning, and a red card means they will be asked to leave the course. So, if you can help me, I'll be really appreciative. But more importantly, you need to help yourselves, okay, because you can do this. So, she's watching, I've told her you're a bit good, alright? So we need to make sure that happens now. You know what you're doing for drill one, yeah? So, let's start from right from the beginning. Squad drill, number you off, get you over there, into your positions, and then we'll go for drill one, post drill, right the way through. 100% effort, 100% enthusiasm, all right? And if this all works well, I might take it for a drive and find you. Oh, nice. Only if it all works well, okay? So get your helmets, get around there and get ready. Go! A big part of the course is working as a team. To start with, working together might seem a bit strange. So to help with this, we play a few games. Nice and done, nice and done. Okay, so, bit of a twist coming up, guys. Now on, if I say catch it, you've got to head it. If I say head it, you've got to catch it. During the course, students will be taught basic fire service drills that firefighters learn when they complete their initial training. This will include using ladders, running out and under running hose, and best of all, squirting water. It is important to us that students stay safe when they're at home and we will teach them ways to ensure this happens as well as keeping friends and family safe too. We will also look into the science behind fire and use practical demonstrations to show them the characteristics of fire. Another fun and inspiring session of the Firebreak program is Heart Start, an initiative brought to us by the British Heart Foundation and supported. Uh, we were privileged to be trained as Heart Start instructors so we can deliver that session to the 12 young people on Firebreak. They will cover things like serious bleeding, choking, placing a casualty that is unconscious but breathing into the recovery position, knowing when to gain help 
and then also ultimately they will be learning how to perform CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation to a casualty who is unconscious and non-breathing. Let's go a minute. Right, now breathe. Nice and gently, as you normally would. Right? Students will have the chance to feel what it is like to wear one of our smaller breathing apparatus sets and work as part of a team to learn search and rescue procedures. We do the breathing apparatus session with the young people to give them the opportunity to wear one of our small breathing apparatus sets so they get to feel what it's like as a firefighter when we wear our larger sets. It's persons reported guys, I want you to do a left hand search at the base of the tower. We also give them the opportunity to do some search and rescue techniques outside where they are blindfolded wearing the sets and this increases their communication skills, their confidence working with each other along with good team skills. The consequences sessions are run as open discussions to enable them to have the opportunity to share opinions and learn from others. Fire service please. Hi. Uh, there's a fire. There's a fire in, in the corner shop near the High Dean School. <laughs> You've got to send somebody quick. OK. We'll wait by the shop. All right. OK, we'll be there. OK, bye. <laughs> Subjects include arson and hoax, road safety and general consequences of their actions at home or school. Another very important part of the course is the home fire safety session where we educate and inspire the students of years 8 and 9 on the course to learn a little bit about being safe at home and good housekeeping. This can include things like hair straighteners. The students who use hair straighteners don't always put them away or on a safe heat proof mat and are always in a hurry trying to go out so uh, they don't often do the right things with those. Also, another electrical appliance that they use a lot of are phone chargers. Uh, many students have said to us that they leave the phone chargers on throughout the evening isn't safe practice. During the home fire safety session, it becomes very aware that the students are unaware of some of the things that they can do to make things much safer at home for them and their families. At the end of the fire break course, we celebrate with a pass out ceremony. Parents, carers and teachers are invited to the fire station to watch students perform the drills they have learnt. The students since coming back from the fire break course have been totally focused, totally engaged. They have got so much from the course. Um, the, the reason that we picked this particular cohort was because of their building of their confidence, building of their self-esteem. From the initial email um, right the way through to the passing out parade, the, th the thorough micro detail that has been from the fire service has been exemplary. Then looking at the students, how, what they got from it, how everything was tailored specifically for them um, and met every, every need that they had was just, like I said, top draw, really, really impressed. And I would thoroughly recommend this programme to any other school. Hopefully by now you know a bit more about the course. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on 01243 752535 or email us at youthinitiative at westsussex.gov.uk.